Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Ever Crisis. We're going to be talking about the new seventh week of the half year anniversary. That's right. Seven weeks already passed by. I feel like it flew by. Uh, there was a lot of stuff updated, but we'll talk about the end of the video. Kind of like a recap of what was my favorite or what was your favorite. But we've got week seven now that we're going to cover with the high wind. There's a new video out on their Twitter account and in-game notices, even like battle floor increase and all that. There's actually one thing I want to talk about in specific that's really good. So, starting off with week seven video, uh, they're showcasing the high wind. Finally unlocked, not what we thought it was going to be because we figured out what's going on, but it is pretty interesting. So, I'm going to let this section play out so you guys can just see it, and then I'll talk about each individual location. While this is playing, though, I love the design of the high wind. It looks great in game, right? I didn't expect it was going to look bad. It's just nice to see it up close in that full 3D model. It looks fantastic. So there's boss enemy encounters. They're showing some uh, collection items that are able to upgrade our characters to be stronger. There is a collection screen like you guys saw. It's like the chocobo slash Easter event. And then we'll get into that afterwards. So starting from the front. High wind is being launched. As of April 17th, new feature High Wind will be released. You can see with the gathering they have here. And this is kind of important. So if you don't collect this in time, it's going to be capped like this. 10 out of 10, right? No hours left. So if you do the Chocobo Expedition or the Easter event right now, you know exactly what this is. It's come back in 24 hours, click a button, collect a bunch of items. The game plays by itself, essentially. So nothing too exciting here. This isn't exciting at all. Right, and it gives you a bunch of materials that honestly all these materials don't matter But this paint bucket here allows you to upgrade the high wind Which is interesting because the enhancement section has multiple parts So high wind itself have its own level 1 to 70 Right, and then we got the engine, stabilizer, and propeller And each one has an enhanced thing, but it's locked at the moment uh, during this screen So the screen does under development I guess it's almost out, which is weird, but yeah. Collect items over time. Enhance high wind with collected items to take an enemy boss battle. So once I guess you upgrade from level one to level two and level so on and so on, I think every time you upgrade, there's a boss battle that unlocks. So boss enemy spotted, new ba battle is available. And then they don't really show that part. So that's going to be a top secret. Uh, then they show this collection section, which is really, really interesting. interesting. So you can see secrets of the great sword. Target all characters, stats, boost, physical attack, 0.0%. Alright, then we've got like Barrett's book here. If you buy if you guys are playing Rebirth, you know exactly what this is. But in here, win enemy battles and obtain a high win collection. It's used a little differently. So in order to upgrade these and lock that boost attack for all characters, you can see here they're gonna make us uh push towards level of characters weapons. And I believe the more weapons of those characters we boost. The more levels we get of this, because there is a percentage here, or it could just be 0.1% and that's it. I doubt it though. So, Earth weapon raised to level 50, 90, and 120. Zero out of one, so you have to do that once. And then you unlock all of that. There's an overboost section too, if you notice. Right? That's enhance. And then there's an overboost. So, I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. Most of us are going to level up our weapons to level 120 anyways. But high wind seems pretty straightforward. Come in every 24 hours. If you guys notice that it says five hours here at level one. And even when he made it level two or they made it level two, once it went to, went to level two, if you went back to that other menu, you could see it still says zero out of 10 with only five hours. So zero out of 10, five hours. So you have to come in every five hours in order to collect this, not 24 hours. Probably not until the ship is much more upgraded. So keep that in mind. That's a little tedious, being like, oh man, I gotta log in five hours. I hate that. Wish I started off with 24 hours, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's a uh, new free stuff. So, we also gain Shiva Summon. Now, Ifrit was technically, well, Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu were all in the beginning of the game, but I believe Ifrit was first, but Shiva's getting this update, and I think it's because with Shiva being updated, it allows a lot more players in or, um, Allows more players the capability of beating Ifrit and Bahamut fight. If you think about it, right? Because Shiva is strong against if Ifrit. And being able to cast a bigger diamond dust. Because that's going to level 10 right now. And the higher stat streams and all that for bigger potency and charge speed. 
Uh, this will help you beat that Ifrit fight with Bahamut. And then when Ifrit comes out, it's going to be easier to do this, so on, so on. Depends which one you guys are able to beat. But that's what's currently coming out in the game. It's all in the notices here. A couple of updates as well, but the Shiva one is going to be pretty straightforward. I believe the way this is worded is that they're going to bring in new materials, right? So as of the 17th, which is tomorrow of this video, uh, Shiva Summon Stream will be expanded along with Summon Stream expansions. The following will be added. Addition of a new difficulty, Shiva Summon Stream expansion, Diamond Dust maximum level to 10, and addition of new training support item. So I think that with that being said, new training support item is most likely these. So if you ended up farming Shiva during co-ops, during whatever, and you have extra like me, or you're farming the weapons, I don't think they're gonna use the same crystals. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, right? But just reading that notice, it's saying new support items. I believe that new means new crystals. So you have to farm the new quest in order to get the new crystals, get the Shiva up to maximum. Which makes sense, they don't want you to go like, oh, Shiva's out, oh, you beat it because you collected a bunch of crystals, congrats, right? They don't want you to do that. Even if you beat the quest once, they want you to farm. So, uh, Shiva level 10 is going to be a blast. A lot of you guys have really good ice builds, right? There's a ton of them out there. Cloud just came out with one during the limited banner. So if you guys got ice cloud, your ice cloud just got that much stronger. So elemental still doing really, really, really good in this game. And then update 1.9.0 talks about the feature of the high wind shiva a daily quest stage edition right so daily quest if we go over here solo content and we go to daily quests there's going to be a new quest coming in so i'm wondering if they're going to put a way to get mithril ore or upgrade materials like the level 100 110 mithril ingots i don't know <coughs> excuse me but judging by the wording of daily quest stage edition New stages will be added for each request. So that could be that, or honestly, I'm hoping like just a weird typo or translation, and they're going to add the weapon enhancements so we can easily make level 100 and 110 weapons, but I doubt it. I think it's just a new stage you're going to be adding. We're going to see what it is. Might have to do with the high wind, might have to do with the mithril ores, level 100 plus weapons. Who knows? We're going to find out in a day, 24 hours. And on top of it, Battle Tower, floor 71 to 90. And I know what we're all saying. <laughs> How are we going to get past floor 70? Now, floor 70. Sorry about that. Floor 70 is going to be interesting. That's my dog, Mitch. <laughs> he likes to come in once in a while. He's got clankly clank nails. But floor 70 is, is a hard fight. But it can be a lot easier if you stack HP and physical defense. That way you're able to survive everything that he does to you. And you have to bring a way to do AOE physical defense up. Like Barrett's Assault Gun, right? So as long as you have that mechanic of a high HP, high physical defense, your DPS can just slowly get through it. Not too slow though, because you got to get through it, right? But yeah, that does help. But honestly, in the end result all you're farming for here unless they add something new is just memory crystals and we get memory crystals from the daily quest events everything pretty much gives it to us our battle pass gives us vouchers that we can exchange right if we go into exchange of memory vouchers i have 176 here so i can give it to any character i want so the game gives us a lot of this so it's not priority to beat this it's nice to get the blue crystals out of it but nothing to stress about if you guys can't make a higher floor that doesn't change your game. When you're new to the game, getting as high as possible there to get more memory crystals so you can lock all, everything on your characters is great. But as a day one player, you can see here's my memory crystals. 260 out of 289, 259, 265. Everyone has over 250. And that pretty much means everything's maxed out except for like their off stat. So I use Cloud as a DPS for physical. I'll skip everything that's magic to use less crystals on him, right? And then I only upgrade what I do use, right? I didn't upgrade Blade Beam because I've never used Blade Beam for any situation since Ramu, Shiva, and uh, Ifrit were so strong, right? There was no reason to use an AoE non-elemental ability. So, yeah, don't worry about Battle Tower. If you're stressing about it, as you get more stronger, as the game progresses and your characters level up, you'll be able to get farther into it, but at the end result, you're only getting memory crystals. 
Overall, though, that is seven weeks all wrapped up. We're going to be expecting uh, a new critical event coming up for the Turks, which is going to be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to that. And if you guys are wondering about my ranking on my first account, it's at rank 71, and my no overboost account is at top 500. I'm probably, if I have time, I'm going to release a video today of my no overboost making top 500. I'm uh, I believe it was placed 300 on the dot when we cleared it last night. So no overboost account is no extra weapons fuse into each other. So it's all gold weapons, no pink, no red weapons. Just your bare minimum of a new player coming in. And uh, we did really good. We did really, really good. But overall, seven weeks are done. Let me know what you feel about the half year anniversary. Was it something exciting for you? Did you enjoy all the new quests, rewards, blue crystals? Banners, I think the limited banners were fantastic because the stamp card allowed you to get OB6 pretty easily, which was fantastic for those characters. Um, but overall, I like that the high winds being added to the game and it's something different and to look forward to, to keep it fresh, right? So as long as I keep adding stuff like this, <coughs> gold saucer, mini games, right? The game will become just that more playable longevity and I do want to see it, to, uh, it succeed. So. Hopefully they keep doing stuff like this. As minimum as it is and how basic it is, right? Log in every five hours or 24 hours eventually to get items. It doesn't seem like much, but there's little things in there that kind of give you, you know, something else to do. We got this, we got this, we got this. So hopefully they keep adding and adding and adding. Um, but for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll smell you later.